my dearies, Kalayapa here. Thanks for tuning into my channel. Today's video is going to be the part two of the weirdest customs around the world. As I said in the previous video, this is going to be every other continent but Europe. Again, I will have the use of my laptop because there are quite a lot. So, let's hit it. Every time. First stop, USA. Americans have created a boozy Christmas tradition called the Running of the Santas. Each event sees scores of people dressed up as Santa taking part in a large bar crawl. It started in 1994 in San Francisco by the Audible group of the Cacophony Society, which is known for testing limits and pushing boundaries with states grouped events. Today this event has a name, SantaCon. SantaCon has become a worldwide annual tradition in which hundreds of thousands of people participate. They also have a website and it has explicit rules of conduct to try to keep the event under control. One of the funniest things as well is that a record for the Guinness uh, World Book was set in 2007 when over 13,000 Santa converged at one SantaCon in Ireland. But the SantaCon website claims that the record was actually topped the year before in 2006 when 70,000, yes, not 17, 70,000 Santas clogged the streets of Moscow. Another weird thing happening in the US is that in Arizona they have Santa and Machine Guns event. Santa and Machine Guns allows families, including children and babies, babies to take their pick of weaponry from a large arsenal of pistols, shotguns and machine guns in general and actually use them as props of a cosy Christmas photo with the old Saint Nicholas. Canada! Canada posts recognize the address Santa Claus North Pole, Canada, H-O-H-O-H-O. -H -O -H -O. Any letters received bearing the address are both opened and replied to. That is because in Canada postcodes are alphanumeric, so instead of actual O, you get zero. Eight, zero, eight, zero, eight, zero. Mexico! In Osaka, they have the Night of the Radishes. An odd yet creative Christmas tradition has existed in Osaka region of Mexico for 116 years. La Noche de Rabanos, or the Night of the Radishes, is a somewhat surreal art festival held yearly on December 23 in which artisans compete by carving oversized root vegetables, some weighting as much as six pounds. It has evolved into a worldwide tourist attraction, drawing long lines to witness the stiff competition between artists who create elaborate sculptures. Guatemala Guatemalans sweep out the house before Christmas. Each neighborhood will then create a large pile of dirt before placing an effigy of the devil on top and burning it. Venezuela Venezuelans attend marching the run up to Christmas. However, Caracas residents have developed a strange tradition turning to march on roller skates. In the capital city, before young children go to bed on Christmas Eve, they tie one end of a string to their big toe, leaving the other end outside the bedroom window. The fun part of the Christmas celebrations is on the day of the early morning march. Streets were closed off to cars until 8 a.m. for people to roller skate to the service and they customarily proceed to tag on any of the strings they see hanging. Cuba! Every December, Cuban city Remedios plays host to the Arandas festival. The city divides into two halves, each building a themed sculpture from light bulbs in preparation for Christmas Eve. Now it's time to go to South Africa. This festive South African delicacy is not for the faint-hearted. On Christmas Day, locals tuck into the deep-fried caterpillars of the Emperor Moth. 
caterpillars. Also, in South Africa, children are told the story of Danny, a young boy who angered his grandmother by eating the cookies that had been left for Santa. In her rage, she killed him and he said to haunt homes at Christmas. Ooh. Ethiopia. Ethiopians celebrate Christmas on January 7th. People wear white clothes and then play Ghana, a fast-paced game with sticks and wooden balls. Sounds like fun. Next stop is India. So in India, only about 2.3% of the population are Christians. But because of the large population they have, we're talking about 25 million people there. Christians there celebrate Christmas with midnight mush and gift giving like the rest of the world. But they usually decorate banana trees or mango trees instead of regular Christmas trees. That means you'll find brightly lit, well decorated Christmas banana or mango trees on the streets. They even use the leaves of those trees to decorate their houses. Philippines! Christmas is huge in Philippines since 80% of the populations are Christians. Celebrations will last all the way to January. Children will leave the brightly polished shoes and freshly washed socks on the window sills for the three kings to leave gifts in when they pass through their houses at the night. The Feast of the Three Kings marks the end of the Christmas celebrations. Japan! Thanks to a campaign in 1974, many Japanese families eat at KFC on Christmas Eve, just like how Christmas turkey is must-have on Christmas. For the Japanese, it is Colonel's chicken. Seriously, now you're gonna light up? More than 240,000 Barrels of chicken will be sold during Christmas. Another Christmas food associated with Japan is the Christmas cake. This sponge cake with whipped cream, chocolate and strawberries on top. That sounds really, really good. Are ordered months in advance and are eaten on Christmas Eve. Any cake that is sold after the 25th is unwanted. In Japan, they also have another tradition. White Christmas cards are sent to friends and family. Red cards, however, are to be avoided. This is traditionally the color of funeral announcements. So just white cards, people, okay? Just white cards. Our second to last stop is Australia. In Australia, Santa Claus pulls up on a surfboard. It's summer down under on Christmas Day. Temperatures in December are between 68 and 84 degrees Fahrenheit. So Santa just often pulls up onto the beach. Carolers are also gathered in major cities to sing by the candlelight. And people decorate their homes with Christmas bush. Yes, Christmas bush, a native plant. Our last stop is New Zealand. In New Zealand, rather than using the traditional conifer, the citizens decorate Pahutukawa trees at Christmas. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly. These trees are just so, so nice. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching again. Please rate the video so as to know if you liked it. And see you later.